One of the best things that you can do as a permaculturist is to start to recognise microclimates. And so when you find places that are a little bit warmer, a little bit more sheltered and so on, for instance, you can do things that you can't do otherwise. So uh, here we're growing an apricot tree and it's a particularly good microclimate in this corner of the garden. Uh, behind me we have a water butt and that keeps a nice bit of heat in the winter months to stop it getting too cold at night. And it's up against this lovely south facing wall and the cold air in the winter comes down off the roof and it comes down in a curtain away from the wall itself. So as the flow comes down, it comes down in a curve rather than straight down. And you can see that this bench here, um, we've got a photograph which I'll show you now, which shows the on the outside of the bench you can see a lot of frost and then the edge of the table coming towards, there's a gradient, there's a lot of frost and there's less and less and less and then on the part of the bench by the wall there's no frost at all and for me seeing that really told me about what's going on in this space and those subtle differences in temperature can ensure that your early blossom gets pollinated, doesn't get frosted and you get fruit or whatever it is that's tender in your area that you want to grow.